Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Three best and three worst hotel loyalty rewards programs. Hello everyone, this is Amit Dunn of AmitDunn.com. Today I'll talk about three best and worst hotel loyalty rewards programs and I'm expecting this video about 3-4 minutes long. IdeaWorks, which is a research company, compiled data from average hotel stay and they came up with a list of the best and worst hotel rewards loyalty programs. They compiled data from average hotel stays and they, based on the points you would have received from those stays, IdeaWorks came up with the list of ho the hotels that will provide you the best value or best uh, return for your stays and the hotels that will provide you the least uh, rewards or least returns from your stays. And I will give you the best and the worst list one by one and at the same time I will uh, provide these names on the screen so you can easily see which hotels are giving you the most value and which hotels are giving you the least value based on the amount or the money you are spending on your average stay. Let's start the best three hotels which provide the most returns per stay. The first one is Windham Rewards which provides 16.7% return. The second one is Marriott Rewards which provides 8.8% .8 return and the third one is Hilton Honors which provide 7.5% return. Let's look at the hotels that are giving you list returns. The first one is on the list SPG or Starwood Preferred Guest which is giving only 5.4% return. The second one is IHG Rewards Club which is giving only 6.7% return and the third one is Best Western which is giving you only 7.5% four percent return if you'd like to put these numbers into perspective in terms of dollar value let's start with the best hotel which is Windham Rivers what it means that if you're spending hundred dollars your, your return will be sixteen dollars and seventy cents per hundred dollars and what it means that in order to score a free night you only need to stay five point nine 5.9 nights at Wyndham chain of hotels. Now let's do the same for the worst hotel which is the Starwood preferred guest returning only 5.4 percent. What it means that for every hundred dollars you'll be spending you'll be getting back only 5.5 dollars and 40 cents and in order to score a free night you'll have to spend 18.5 nights at Starwood Preferred Guest Hotel Chains. This research and numbers are looking at average stays. Your own experience or your own scenarios may be very different. Before you book or stay in any hotel, always do your research and look for various sources which are available online for free to check and compare rates. And it is always a good idea to become a member of the hotel loyalty program as it will give you different perks just for being the member. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.